Hello. We're doing something different today. So I was at a trade show recently, and uh, a very nice guy from Martin Guitars, uh, a, a uh, sales rep, whatever, from uh, Europe, approached me and said, hey, uh, do you want a Martin pick? I'm like, sure. I mean, you can literally just, like, eat all the picks you want at these trade shows. They're paved with picks. So what's the thing? And then he gave me this little box, uh, this little tin. And I'm like, so what's so special about it? He's like, well, we, we'd like to spread the word about these because, you know, nobody knows about them or something like that. I don't know. I'm in social media. I advertise. That's what I do. So he wanted advertising. I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah, we we can't really get them amongst the people because they're like 20 bucks. So this is like, I don't know, 22 euro or something. I'm like, what? So, yeah, it comes in a nice little tin. I get that. And, of course, there's a lot of snake oil uh, picks out there. So within the tin is a little velvet bag with Martin on it. So if that's something you like, way to go. And also a little sticker, which is really just uh, sandpaper. He can you file your nails. He literally can. Look at it. I just did. Um, that you can stick on the pick, stick on the pick for less friction or more, more friction so it doesn't slip away. <clears throat> Put it in my pocket, went home. Then open it up, looking at it, feeling it. <laughs> it's, <coughs> it's a super standard. You get them also thicker. One millimeter freaking plastic pick. Why is this 20 bucks? I mean, look at it. Okay, there's absolutely... On the outside, also on the inside, nothing special about it. I'm going to go to the Martin website and read you what they got to say about it. Uh, it's the Lux by Martin, the Apex pick. Lux by Martin Apex picks are designed and manufactured by the in-house expert that deliver the guitars you know and trust. They feature a standard shape along with unique precision machined contour bevels to customize your own signature attack. How is it customized if everyone's playing the pick? That doesn't make sense because you're not customizing the bevel. There's nothing customized about your, your playing style. You're buying this and you're, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, a comfortable satin surface. Okay. An etched logo. You mean like everyone else? I lost one. It's literally, they're trying to make a plastic pick sound really enticing. Um, an edge logo added, uh, offer added grip and less fatigue over long playing sessions. <laughs> uh, the specially chosen polymer, they're not saying what it is, plastic, it's a special plastic, which many manufacturers have, that's fine, that's valid. It's exceptionally wear-resistant. Okay, we can't test that because I can't play this for a year now. Um, and offers low friction for unadulterated tone. Less pick noise, that we can test. And faster playing. These mechanical properties translate to an exciting, exciting balance of rigidity and flexibility right when you need it. Includes a, a, a tin pouch pick and a grip enhancement disc for maximum grip needs. It's like, ChatGPT, write me a super exciting text about something that's normal. Okay, so that's me being critical and funny. Okay, maybe it's really awesome. As someone who plays pretty damn expensive picks for a reason, I am not as skeptical as I should be. Maybe there's something to it. I do play the chicken picks, Badass 3. They are, uh, I, they come in 2, 2.5, 3, and they have extremely sharp edges, which is why there's definitely a difference in playing. You get used to them relatively quickly, but you, you get this really amazing attack and control. These are great, but they're, I think, €6.90 a pick, which already is ridiculous. But, of course, there's more ridiculous picks. Fender sold a pick. I think uh, Tyler Larson bought one. There's a, a titanium. There's a gold pick. There's a pick for, like, 2000 bucks. There's ridiculous things just for the people that have everything. You know, the, the Mr. Bugatti owner in Dubai... Yeah, that's what they get if they play guitar and no two chords. Let's let me get the gold pick. It's all good. 
With an acoustic guitar, which is probably what you should test this with because it's from Martin, there's of course pick noise, there's uh, how does it play, there's a million things. We can't really go into many, many, many things. What we'll test, and we'll test this last, is a bunch of picks. What was my order? I have so many picks in my drawer, we could be doing hundreds of them. We're not. I randomly picked a couple of different ones. Here's a free pick you get from Ortega at a trade show, 1.2 millimeters. They're a nylon string acoustic company. We're gonna test this pretty stiff thing. Then next we're gonna do a total standard 0.88 millimeter USA nylon Jim Dunlop. When you're strumming, you probably want something a bit thinner unless your grip is very, very light, like Tim Pierce's is, for example. Here's a, what is this? Ernie Ball, very thin, or relatively thin, 0.6 millimeter. I literally just grabbed whatever was there. Um, then we go into something a little bit special. A wooden pick. Don't remember where I got that from, but I played thicker wooden picks for quite a while. Because it's a softer material, that should have less pick noise. Talking about pig, Pictrum is a company from Germany, from Leipzig, making all different sizes of picks. And these are sustainable, so these can actually just be thrown away and they will not uh, pollute the environment. There's actually the super economy or whatever they're called, the pink ones, I think, they actually biodegrade. And that's something we're gonna talk about in a separate video when we test these. So I tested this, but it's a fairly thick pick. This is a, it doesn't even say, but it's got a pick on it. Graftech makes the tusk picks. These come in different colors and they're actually supposed to have a tone. And of course, the pick is the thing that you, connects with your guitar. I would think the pick is more relevant than most other things. Your fingers connect with the guitar, the pick connects with the guitar, the pick is very important. So the pick having a tone, especially when it comes to acoustic, absolutely not bullshit. They come in different shapes. The only one I found was this. I've used these once in a while. BA1. So it's also a one like the Martin. Then we're gonna go to uh, uh, Ricky. A French guy makes Artisan picks. I mean, works of freaking art. Go to his website, Plec, Plec, uh, Picks by Ricky. Uh, Plectre de Ricky. I met him in um, Paris. He makes things with clockworks in them, and just like so, uh, usable things, but also just works of art when it comes to picks. And because it's my logo colors, he gave me this monstrosity, which is not bendable because it's like half a mile thick probably made out of a resin, absolutely beautiful piece of art. Then we're gonna try chicken pick. This is a 2.6, a little bit thicker, but you can definitely tell that it has that chicken pick attack. Probably the wrong pick for acoustic guitar. And at the very end, we're gonna try the Martin. I'm doing this with a Shure Beta 27. Just get it out of the box. Wanted to try that out. They sent that for Gear Street. Mid-priced mic, not cheap, not super expensive. Everything you're hearing is completely unprocessed. There's no EQ, there's no compression, there's no nothing. And I'm uh, testing it, not with a Martin, because I don't have one, Martin. But I'm testing this with this old thing, which is my Halabitza QD. This is so far the finest acoustic guitar I've ever played. And I'm very fortunate that Halabitza, Halabitza, Halabitza from Slovakia gifted this to me in exchange, not gifted, but I mean, uh, bartered this to me in exchange for appearing in videos. I mean, look at her. This is an absolute masterpiece of a guitar. Every time you take it out of the Hiscox case, it is in tune for over a year and a half now. Uh, it's it's an absolute, absolute masterpiece, clocking in at a mere 8,000 bucks. But everyone who's played it immediately fall, fell in love with it. This is an amazing guitar. God, I can't play. So, let's go to the tests. Here we go.
So, what do you think? Here's what I think. The really hard, super non-rigid ones, especially with these materials, like the chicken pick and the Plecta de Ricci, uh, have way too much pick noise and treble. The, the, the question is also, what's your playing style? Are you doing chicken picking? So you want the pick probably to be more like your fingers, so probably something softer like the wooden pick. Are you strumming hard? Then maybe use a softer pick. Is it strumming? Is it uh, single note playing? I think these things demand a different treatment when it comes to pick. Now, the Tusk has a, a decent pick noise, not too bad. Um, is it tuned? Ah, I, don't, I don't know. Now, what do we think about the 20 euro pick from Martin? Personally, it does the job, not a lot of pick noise. It, it plays nicely. But then again, it, it, you take it out of the little tin, which is neat, and it just feels like an absolute super standard pick like I would have from Ortega for free. I could have literally just grabbed a whole handful of them. When they were here at Gear Street, they literally left about 150 of these in a box in different... Uh, they're still in my garage. This is what this feels like when you take it out of the little tin. Is there something special to it? I don't know. Is there, is there something Is there something special to you when you take it out of the tin and you play your super high-end Martin or Guild or Chalabitza or whatever with it? Is there a brainy, snake oily psychology because you bought an expensive pick by an extremely amazing guitar company and they are because they're freaking Martin. I can't answer that. However, if you feel you need something special, you need a little kick, and this thing makes you play three days more because you got the new pick and you want to try it out, and you're like, oh my god, listen to this new pick. You know what? 20 bucks is not too much to spend to give you a little kick to play guitar. Could you do this with a free pick? Yes. Some people can use anything and have a gay old time. Some people need to spend 20 bucks and buy this pick. If this gets you playing, if this is the thing that in your brain jump starts you to write an amazing song dude 20 bucks isn't too much to spend to do that does it do that because of its properties i don't know but you find out i'm not selling you this but i mean if you're buying it and it's doing something for you then it then 20 bucks well spent i'm not being paid for this by the way what i got is a 20 dollar pick Euro pick, whatever. And a little tin. And a little... I just thought this is something to talk about. Martin has a pick for 20 bucks. That's it. I'll put links below and animals at the end, as always. Touch my heart.